think that people look down on you because you come from farmers? Oh, well, I don't particularly care what people think about me. <laughs> that's but their in general. Uh, in general, yeah, they think they I think that farmers are lower class, really. Why is that? Oh, what? Farmers are always run downtown. Nobody who would want to live there or anything like that. What's run down about it? I don't know. Just as their opinion of it. I think one thing is confusion that's going on. It's all these people trying to tear the city down and there's disrest and everything. And when you go there, you have to kind of prove yourself that, you know, you aren't hood or anything. There's a lot of kids that they want to do something, but there's no way they can do it because no one listens to them. There's no place the people, the, the kids in Farmersville can, there's nowhere where they can go to tell, tell everyone in the city council or whatever, whatever it is, you know, what we need. What do you mean there's no place to go where you can do that? Well, you can go to council meetings. Well, kids can't talk at council meetings. Well, they put them down. You feel dumb when you raise your hand and there's a bunch of parents around and you're trying to say something and they, uh, you're saying something they don't agree with, then they are not listening anyway. Yeah. They've usually got something else going anyway, like discussing the sewer or something like this. There's so much counteraction in that. You can't. They're trying to get sewers and help Farmersville, and then there's other people cutting that down. So there's hardly any room for the the kids of Farmersville to try to help uh, set up recreation centers or something like that. For, kids to do. That's why there's nothing here to do in Farmersville. I bet you three-fourths of the kids in or they just want to sit back and let everybody else do it for them. Well, you were saying a minute ago that it was the adults that they didn't give well, you a chance. The kids too. There's a there's a few of, well there's a few adults that want to help but that uh, like I said they have other problems right now that they're trying to help in Farmersville so they don't have time to help the kids. And if the kids try to do it, there's a majority of the kids that couldn't care less because they don't stay here in Farmersville very long anyway. I don't think we could have a place like that. It would be torn down before we ever got any good out of it. Everything here is, before you know it, it's all gone. Everyone tears it down. They don't have any respect for it. If we get something, they just tear it down and there's no good. We're always busy replacing things and they have, never have time to do anything for us. What have you replaced? All different kinds of stuff at the school, they're always replacing things because, you know, someone will ride on things and they have to repaint it and they tear down bleachers and things. They just don't have any respect for anything. So you give up trying? Well, they keep trying, but it takes many steps to do it. Why do you think that is? Well, the kids just don't care. That's, we, need, we need to care, you know. The, that's just it. No one really tries. Obviously, you care. Yes, I do. Small percentage of the people do, really. Other but people do care, but there's just not enough of us to get anything going. What would you like to get going? Well, a recreation hall where we could go, you know, somewhere we could go, you know, have fun, maybe have dances there or something, but that's just it. If we go somewhere, we always get put down, and something always happens to ruin it. We never get a chance. Well, they tried it already. They tried the GTOs. You know what that is? All right. Uh, they tried it. What? Sam, if he now, I don't. I doubt if he could get into one of those dances now. You can't even get in the club, actually. Now. You can't get into the GTOs. Uh -uh. Who can? Uh, they. I. I might be able to. I doubt it. I, I don't. I don't understand what you're saying. Um, well, this. That what? The GTOs. It's mainly Spanish people. Mexican American. That's just it. They would, uh, president, vice president, every, the whole group is run by Spanish American. That's just it. Which, so does well, that mean they wouldn't let in other people to help work on the uh, a project, or that the other people wouldn't want to join? Or what's that? I don't understand what you mean. Uh, they wouldn't, they wouldn't care for them to join. See, because they're it wouldn't be accepted. Really, it be accepted. They might let you in, but uh, you wouldn't feel you wouldn't feel, you wouldn't feel good there. Well, you wouldn't feel welcome, you wouldn't, well, well, there's, I just face it, if, if you're going to go to a dance, you want to mix more or less with your own race, and since the GTO is more or less Spanish, they wouldn't really care that much about having a, a white kid come. I've always thought that in small towns, people tended to cooperate more, you know. 
Is that true? I think we're having just the opposite here. Can you say why that is? I don't really know. I can't figure it out. I can't see why people want to go backwards and tear everything down that we've accomplished. Just when we're starting to go someplace, really. Is everybody sticking to the old ways? They think that nothing should never change and they should always change, you know, always stay the same and everything, but we need to change, you know. Things are, times are changing and, they, and we need to keep up with it. So farmers are just thinking back behind. I think our time will come. As soon as our generation, uh, you know, gets old enough where we can kind of, uh, you know, have our ways, then, you know, we know what the changes are that can be made. We know what we can do to help the city. And I think that when uh, we get it old enough to be in the city council and everything like this, there'll be changes because we can suggest things and show the people here in Farmersville that there are different things around here. You know, most of the people here in Farmersville have never been out of Farmersville. They don't know what other cities have. There's a few people that really care and uh, would really like to see changes take place in Farmersville, but uh, there's a lot of people that wouldn't like to see changes. I think that the Mexican Americans should have more of a part in the governing of our city because it's run by whites. You know, everybody's white. City council. If they had a part in this, maybe they'd feel more. Bob, do you, ex you expect to live here the rest of your life? No, I don't. If you want to really get ahead in the world, or you, you only have to get a good job, there's not that much here. There's really nothing. There's no industry. Well, we have about five grocery stores and one clothing store, and that's it. Do you expect to live here? No, nope. I don't well. expect to live here. I'll probably go to college, and then I'll probably find a job somewhere else. And Joe, I don't know if I'm going to stay here or not. I really doubt it, but I hate to see Farmersville just die off. I was brought up here, and I just kind of—I like to move out, but if there's any way I could stay here, you know, it might change between now and when I get old enough to decide where I'm going to move or stay the rest of my life. Well, isn't there? I kind of get the feeling in, in what you're saying, Joe, that you really there are some things about the community that you like. What 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 is it that you like? Not much. <laughs> Some of the people here are okay. I don't know. Really. There's not really that much here, but if you could, if you could make money, if you could get a job here and make money as much as you could make in, I don't know, Visalia or Los Angeles or somewhere, would you live here or there? Same job. Same job. I really don't know. I, I might give thought to staying here, but. I, the reason I might want to stay here is because I, I figure on when I, when the time comes for when I, I decide uh, if I'm going to move or not, some of these guys, like, I won't mention any names, but some of the people here that go against everything won't be around. And I think people here more or less, more or less uh, realize what can be done to help the city because I think ever since you've came that the people have started waking up to the fact that this this can be a a good city. Do you think that the obstacles to getting things done is a matter of just a few people, or is it something that's a matter with everybody? It's a matter with everybody. Everyone has to get in on a positive mood of helping farmers will build up. Right now, everyone is undecided because they don't know whether or not they want to move out or stay and help the city, or just don't care. Everybody has to be ready to accept new ideas too. Before anything's really going to be done. Well, how about the new idea that Mexican Americans and Anglos might get along? I mean, that's a new idea, and yet you guys idea. don't seem. Pardon that's me. the way it should be. We're all equal. Really? Is it that way now? Um. Well, I think that they think differently. Well. I don't know, they have a bad attitude towards us, and we have a bad attitude towards them. What is that? I don't know. I guess it's just a difference. Think it's always going to be that way? No. What's going to make it change? 
I think it's, you know, like, oh, we all got together, and I know they talked, you know, just about simple things, and then really they got to know each other. I think it helped. The only way we're ever going to get to know, you know, to get along with each other is if we want to, and everyone, no one has a positive attitude to what they think that something's going to go wrong all the time. And we we need to try it and, you know, just keep a positive attitude to it. How do you do that when, when you say you think a lot of people do have a negative attitude? What can you do about that? Well, just try your best to get along, you know. You, you've got to give in to each other a little because it's... You can't always have your own way. Are there any real issues that people are divided over? You know, like talking about Mexican Americans and, and Anglos. They have different ways, different customs, you know. They everyone has a different way of doing things. And Is that bad? The fact that it's different? No, but we, we need to have a you know, kind of center in one certain way because we just don't you can see now it's just not working. I think that if we brought out our suspicions against each other and show that there's not really that much difference between us, you know, there is a difference, but more, more or less, everyone's, you know, both the same, show that we could get along with each other, show that uh, they think about the, they have the same suspicion about us that we have about them. I think that if we show that both of the suspicions that we have, you know, is uh, just a bunch of rod. It's not, any, it's not any sense in it. I think that more or less we could get along together. But I think now that the, the Anglo-Americans are suspicious of the Spanish-Americans and vice versa, and I think that, that we could get the Anglo-Americans and the Spanish-Americans together, you know, and. Uh, go about helping the city just, you know, together, that I think it'd help a lot. But right now, it's just that it seems like the Anglo-Americans are trying to, uh, you know, change the city, even the Spanish-Americans, they, I guess they want to change. I know they want, I know they want to change, but they just don't express it as, as much, I don't. Where and how would you get together? That's what I'd like to know. <laughs>